Hi and welcome back to the capers. The plastic housing on the battery box on the caravan has degraded over the last 14-ish years and has some marks on it. I've been thinking of ways to improve how it looks. I bought some of this pink stuff to try, so let's go outside and make a start. This is what we're going to be uh, working on where the plastic is degraded and if you see you can actually actually scratch this off it is a bit of a mess really so we're going to put some um, masking tape along here to protect the paintwork from the pink stuff because it is quite abrasive and while we're at it we're going to give the uh, the flue cover and the water inlet the same treatment so we'll dry the van off it's been raining and then uh, we'll apply the masking tape and then we'll make a start right i'll plunk you here on my new tripod that my daughter bought me for my birthday so there's no expenses spared on this channel and uh, i'll make a start I'm not going to make you watch it all, but uh, here we go, let's get started. Let's start working it in, up to now I can't really see anything happening. Might need a stronger brush to paint the uh, the old toothbrush. There's a layer on there now. Let's bring the toothbrush into play. Let's get some water on it and start rubbing. There we go. Looks like it might be a bit of a long job. It's not coming off as easy as I thought. The green's certainly coming off. And we'll, we'll persevere and see where we get to. is improving but I was hoping for a miracle I put some elbow grease into it and the greenery's gone but um, I think that's the best we're gonna do and if I take you closer in you can actually see that there are some cracks in the actual plastic so I really don't think we're going to improve on that Give it a wipe off. It's, it's, all, it's better, but it's not what I hope for. But I've used the um, pink stuff on the locker, and generally it's uh, cleaned up quite nicely. So we'll move along and we'll have a go at doing these covers. So just bear with. Right, let's get started. So we'll use the uh, the paintbrush first. Put the stuff on. The pink stuff. And there we go. And a good rubbing. Say, uh, this is the original fitting. So it's getting on for 14 years old. So there's bound to be some discoloration. Do it on the top. You can press a bit harder with uh, finger pressure. Leave 
that's looking quite good to be honest. Should we rinse off and have a look? good. Right. A little bit there around the true metal logo, just on the corners. So we'll go back and just this edge. So we'll go back and leave that somewhere with the brush. Certainly better. Go back to the cloth. Give a bit of rinse. There we are. Well, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Another weapon in the armory. Let's give the. Uh, the water inlet a go. This isn't the original, this is uh, the second one because I replaced it because the, uh, the internals pop it open in there, cracked. Another crack on that one. So I might be changing that soon. Which grubby in there, so we'll give that a clean too. Off camera, I've used the pink stuff on the handles. They were quite grubby. Also used it on the locker door there. On the flush inlet. Cassette toilet door. And of course the, uh, the main feature was the battery box. Cowl and the water inlet. I think it's done a really good job. These are the products and tools that we've used to uh, do the cleaning job. The pink stuff, which was £1.50 for the tub from a local Tesco and just hold that there and let it focus there's the directions and the ingredients should you wish to uh, freeze a video and have a read natural ingredients environmentally non-toxic so that's got to be good hasn't it made by star drops we also use some 600 grade wet and dry roll of masking tape microfiber cloth a paintbrush this one came in a pack at, from b and q um the thing i like about them is that the the ring that holds the the bristles in is plastic so it's great for little cleaning jobs The other thing, an old toothbrush, and there we are, another job successfully done on Collins Caravan Capers. If you like what we do, please subscribe, like and comment, and I hope this has been of some use to you. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.